Team USA picks up its first gold medal. That and more Olympic news coming up. Hey everyone, here's a quick summary of some of the latest news surrounding the Games. Team USA picked up its first gold medal with Chase Kalish's win at the men's 400-meter individual swimming medley. In the golf world, Team USA player Bryson DeChambeau tested positive for COVID, so he's out and will be replaced by Patrick Reed. Lastly, skateboarding made its debut and Nigel Houston, a huge name in skateboarding, who's actually from Davis, by the way, qualified for the finals, but didn't end up taking a medal. Arash Mathai talked to him afterward, and this is what he said. Yeah, everyone in the U.S., all the homies, family. Uh, man, sorry guys, wish I could have landed a couple more tricks out there and uh, done a little better, but uh, still still an honor to, to represent the USA for the first time, the first, first skateboarding ever in the Olympics. Speaking of local athletes, our digital video journalist Jonathan Bloom is tracking what all the Bay Area Olympians are doing and is giving you a daily rundown. Check it out. Stanford superstar Katie Ledecky will compete in the 400 free. You can watch Jonathan's daily updates on NBCBayArea.com slash Olympics. The women's fencing foil competition starts Sunday, and San Francisco's Olympic fencer, Sabrina Masiales, will be taking a shot at that gold medal. I got a chance to talk to her before she took off to Tokyo. Take a listen. So I want to know, how do you get ready for a match? I mean, do you have, like, obviously your matches here are different, your practice matches, but is there anything that you do that's funky, weird, you know, when you get ready for an actual competition? I don't know if you've ever, like, heard of, like, the research where if you, like, put yourself in a powerful stance, before like entering a competition or like an exam or something that requires like high performance. Yeah, like do like the Superman pose. So that's something that I start doing like before or the day of the event, like in my room or in the bathroom or something like for I think at least like two minutes of just like go into Superman stance to build the confidence. Watch the full interview on NBCBayArea.com slash Olympics. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.